So thank, thank you, uh, Sister Mary, and then Joan, of course, and, and John Chin for that vision, which is so important. But as you heard today, it's not just one person's vision that can make this happen. It's a collaboration of so many departments. And, you know, we have the, you know, the people here from the state, from the federal government, and from, from the city to do that. And to get everybody on the same page, I mean, only Sister Mary could do that. I mean, to get everybody thinking in the same direction. I mean, obviously, with Kelvin Jeremiah here from the, from the city, we have uh, Brian Hudson from the state. Um, also, you have uh, Janet uh, Stearns. Knowing that you need all these organizations to make it help, but that still isn't enough. Even with all our local officials behind you, <clears throat> we need the private partnerships. And the private partnerships is really what makes this thing go. And it doesn't happen with great people and great leaders. And again, I know they've been thanked. And the Middletons, thank you. And the Haas, the McGuire's, and the Rainer, Rainer Foundation. You mean so much to Philadelphia, knowing that the effort and what you see that could really make a difference. And yes, we try to put these projects together time and time again and the competitive tax credits to go along with it. But we still would not have been able to build this building without the partnerships that we have here today. And then we wouldn't have the stories. And, and, and yes, it's right, Joseph. Thank you so much for your story. That is a story that should be told time and time again so people understand the needs that we have here, not only in the city of Philadelphia, but throughout the country. And yes, we want to end homelessness, and we see the issues that we have on the street, and we know that we see younger and younger people out there. We need to do more, and we need to work together. And I'm proud that Eva's here, thank you, and, and Anna Fadulin, because the administration is really taking that to a new level and hopefully coming up with a policy that we could follow to really, really put the hammer to this and make a difference. And it's a passion amongst a member, a number of council members. And I remember going across the street, too, and we had some issues, you know, with the other buildings there and are we going to block their views and other things that went along with it. And we were able to work out everything. We were able to do that because of the passion and desire to help the people here in the city of Philadelphia. And we have great leadership throughout with Congressman Fatah, Senator Farnese, knowing that we could all lean on each other to get these things done is so helpful. And... <clears throat> The hardest part is, you know, as an organization, to work through your own groups, and everybody has different ideas of how you could do this, but involving two organizations, right, Project Home and PCDC, and now they have two ideas of how they want to do this, and then adding the LGBTQ community into the mix and trying to fit all that in, it's not easy to do, but this was done. This is a model that could be shown throughout not only the city, but out throughout the country, that if we put our heads together and work together, we could have 95 units with retail space in an e area that's going to help revitalize not only for the homeless, but for the people in the surrounding community here and help some of the most vulnerable people we have in the city of Philadelphia is just a great accomplishment. And I think we need to give everybody a round of applause for what they have done. <clears throat> and I, when Sister Mary again, and it was probably about four years ago, four or five years ago when we started this, it just tells you how long it takes to get these things done. And um, sister said, well, I'm going to prove to you that this is something that you could be proud of. Well, I think she'd done that. I mean, I am so proud to be here today, to be across the street from this great building and talk about peace, hope, and love and what we have here in the city of Philadelphia. And I was just a small part of making that happen. I mean, I, I know a lot of the elected officials get the credits, but the credit really belongs to PCDC, Project Home, and all the people who contributed to this great project. Thank you for letting me be a little, bit, a little part of this, and congratulations. Thank you.